how would you describe paid work? I personally would describe paid work as simply this, a contract between an employer and an employee, which mutually or perhaps somewhat benefits both. You know, the idea is intended, in my opinion, that mutually you are benefited in the sense that the employer gets a job done, the employee gets paid for doing the job. Both people get what they want from the other. In today's market, this is actually less true than ever. A lot of people that I know that work what is going to be traditionally considered a 9 to 5 do not work 9 to 5 at all. A lot of these jobs now are actually like 8.30am until 6, which is actually a lot longer. The pay is not really any better though, it's actually exactly the same. And here's the interesting thing. It's like that dynamic has kind of shifted. Now, admittedly, a lot of, not all, but a lot of workplaces are making positive steps to improve their experience given to their employees. A lot of workplaces are implementing things like the four-day work week. And there are a lot of other great strategies like work from home. All sorts of things that can make the experience for the employee an awful lot better. But with that being said, that's not the case for all employers, and also it is increasingly the case that the balance is kind of off. Like, obviously, related to inflation, pay increases just don't keep up. We all acknowledge this. And now we're in a kind of market where it's like productivity in a lot of industries, in a lot of markets, due to new technologies, new processes, new machinery like computers, uh, and of course AI, productivity for a lot of workers is increasing, and pay is not keeping up. Pay versus productivity in a lot of markets, there's not a strong correlation between the two. You see, a lot of people in today's market like to do a lot of complaining, but they don't realise the fact that they have power in these sorts of situations. A lot of people do realise it, but a lot of people don't. You see, it seems to be that, and and almost really it always has been, but especially now, it's it's like a kind of player versus player world. It's a dog-eat-dog situation. And... This needs to be acknowledged in the situation of workplaces, in the situation of making money, in the situation of career development. You know, as workers, you have rights and you have ambitions of your own. I think the reason why so many people and so many workplaces are simply just not compensating people fairly is because the employees are not demanding the best out of that industry. You know, in the UK and obviously a lot of countries around the world, we've seen a lot of strikes recently resulting in pay rises for a lot of industries. And fairly fairly enough, a lot of the most crucial jobs in most countries are actually some of the least paid. Some of the, the worst paying jobs are the ones that we need the most simply for society to keep keep going. And that is disappointing. But but at the same time, we live in a world where a lot of people do not either want to change jobs, do not want to strike, do not want to look for other opportunities, yet still feel comfortable and entitled to complain. And this is what I think the problem is. This is, I think, part of the problem. I think the problem is that people expect a lot, but they're not willing to hold bad employers and bad jobs to account. They're not willing to go on strikes. You know, a lot of the people that I know, never mind strikes even, a lot of the people that I know that like to complain, I have to say that they like it. I have to say that because a lot of people that I know complain about their jobs, how bad it is, how miserable it is, all this sort of stuff. Are you looking for a new job? No. Do you really hate it then? Do you really hate it? And people say it's too much stress, it's too much hassle. You are talking about a job that you hate. Work finished four hours ago, so it's still in your head. People don't hold their positions to account, and they don't look for new opportunities. And this is part of the problem. You see, it seems to be that these days we like to put a lot of blame on employers and society and the economy, but we fail to acknowledge our responsibility in facilitating all of this stuff. We are people who are required for the workforce. You know, realistically, if people did not go to work, society as it is would fall to bits. They need us and we need them. 
But the dynamic has been shifted to the point where we feel like we only need them and we're disposable units. And a lot of the time that is actually the case because due to the economy, due to the fact that incomes are low and due to, the, due to a lot of other factors that we don't need to get into, even a minimum wage job is going to have 20, 30 applicants. It, it's, it's almost inevitable, right? And this is part of the situation. It's difficult when there is someone to always fill the position. But then again, what I'm saying is this. People talk a lot about what they don't want and what complaints they have about the market, the economy and the workplace. What have you done to change it? We could talk about the fact that we live in a joke economy where you can't buy a house unless you have 60 hours of work a week. Or we could talk about the fact we live in a joke economy where you could buy a house by playing video games if you're smart enough and good enough. You know, people see what they want to see and a lot of people want to see issues, a lot of people want to see problems and these problems are real. But they're not necessarily problems of society as a whole, they're problems of a changing society. And that's not a problem, it's an adaptation. It's your job to adapt to that, right? It, less and less nowadays, it seems to be that people are in a job for life. You know, a lot of people switch jobs every couple of years. A lot of people switch locations for better incomes, better jobs, better opportunities. Why are you not joining this trend if you want to genuinely see a lifestyle increase? You know, that's a part of the problem. I don't know what it is that you want from life. I know when you put yourself out there on the internet like I do in this channel, people can be quick to judge. I don't care what anybody thinks. If you think my idea of trying to run my own businesses is stupid, great. If you think it's smart, great. Your choice, I don't care. I'm doing my thing. What is your thing? And how are you going to lead to that path? How are you getting there? Are you getting there or are you just complaining? Because you as a worker have power. You can move to a different job. You can move to a different location if you want to, if you need it bad enough, if you want it bad enough. You can possibly, not always, strike. People these days are so downtrodden, like poor working conditions and pay is almost to be expected, right? People almost just expect it as a given. In some markets, it's going to be the case. And if you need money, you need money at the end of the day. But past that, why are people still complaining and not taking action? Because there are still a lot of good jobs out there that pay above minimum wage for the same level of work. You know, I, I got offered a job the other day that pays like £17 an hour, no qualifications needed, training on the job, fair enough. But the opportunities are still there. If you are not rewarded in your workplace or your market, look for another one. Acknowledge your power as a unit of labor. Some people will look at it and say, I'm a unit of labor. That means nothing. Other people will look at it and say, oh, I'm a unit of labor. I'm part of this machine. That means everything to the situation, to the market. And that is the way that I see it. And I think it's a way that a lot of people need to see it. I'm not saying organize a big strike or quit your job. We need to be realistic about things. But look, if you hate it that much in a certain place of work, if it's not good enough or whatever, you can move markets and find better opportunities. Stop blaming the market if you're not putting the effort in to get better results out. And it's simple as that. Thank you. Goodbye.